All right, guys. Hey, it's Walker here, and I'm here with Dr. Gallegos um, to get some imaging for my shoulder because um, he has a, a brand new ultrasound imaging device that, uh, that we have available for you guys. Um, he will kind of give you guys a rundown of what's different and what's new about the, the product, and um, I'll also kind of show what the process looks like of me getting um, my shoulder ultrasound. So... Uh, with that being said, we'll hop right into it. Good morning, I'm Dr. David Gallegos here. I'm just gonna show the new device that we have here at the clinic now that we're gonna be offering for patients. Uh, we're still offering that free ultrasound for musculoskeletal conditions, so like injuries of your joints, your shoulders, tears, things like that, uh, that we can still offer for free every third Thursday of every month, so don't forget about those. Uh, but with that being said, obviously we're going to be incorporating our new unit here. So it's a brand new um, Konica uh, ultrasound device. So this is one of the state-of-the-art machines that we use now for our MSK or musculoskeletal uh, imaging. So we can do diagnosing of obviously injuries, uh, trauma, anything like that when it comes to the soft tissue area. And it's all obviously better for needle guidance, which is mainly what I use it for for all of the regenerative injections that we do here at the clinic. Um, very, very robust in terms of the difference from the unit that we had prior to this unit. The other unit was an awesome unit as well, but it didn't have as much of the um, fine tuning, if you will, uh, capabilities that this unit has. So this allows us to really go deeper into uh, the structure so we can actually be more precise in our injections uh, but also diagnosing. So this unit really allows me to go deeper into the diagnosing aspect of injuries on patients, really dive deep into the, the deeper structures and the sub-tissue injuries, um, evaluate whether there is a significant tearing or injury on muscle tendons or ligaments, and also looking at joints. Is there significant arthritis? Is there significant uh, wear and tear of the cartilage uh, that we can evaluate? So it's, a, it's an awesome structure, it's an awesome device. Um, but it's really gonna allow us to really go on that next step of evaluation in our patients. Sweet. All right, so I'm here sitting, waiting to get my ultrasound done. We got some gel on the uh, probe. <laughs> on the probe there. <laughs> and right. um, So again, for an ultrasound, uh, especially on the shoulder for him, right? Um, so he had a history of um, uh, athletic performance. He was a pitcher um, back in the good old days. <laughs> um, yeah. So obviously, with that type of strength and that type of force on those ligaments and those joints, um, there's definitely going to be some wear and tear. So we're going to take a look and see what we can find. So I always like to start with looking at the biceps tendon. So just put your palm mm -hmm. up like that. All right. Cool. So as you can see, I can adjust the, the depth of the, of the ultrasound, which allows me to go all the way up to five centimeters deep. So in people that have obviously more muscle mass, um, you know, we need to make sure that we're noticing it, we can visualize everything that we can see. Wow, look at that. <laughs> the other nice thing about an ultrasound is that it's a functional test, right? So as, I, as you can see, as I can rotate his shoulder we can see on the screen how that shoulder ball is articulating or moving in and out of that joint, right? So that's gonna be very important. Wow. And that's not something that you're gonna be able to, to do on an example in an MRI, CT, or an X-ray, because those are still pictures, right? So that's why this is a, a, an awesome opportunity and an awesome uh, way of really evaluating a patient. Now, as we go up, that structure right in the middle is the biceps tendon. You see oh. it sitting in, in, in between those two wedges, right? So that's your bicipital groove. And as we go here, if we go out, we can see the subscapularis tendon, which is part of that rotator cuff. So this is gonna be important when it comes to internal rotation. Uh, very commonly injured too. Uh, not as common as a supraspinatus as we know. So we can see the bone, right? The bone should be a smooth, flat surface. If we started noticing any 
uh, changes on the bone surface that is already an early sign, for example, of arthritis or inflammation mm. on, that, on that bone. But also we can see the tendon. His tendon looks pretty good on that subscapularis. So just hold that position there for me so I can take yeah. a picture. So again, we can do like pictures, right? And then we can go back and further evaluate and we can freeze it, huh. take the probe off. I can make annotations here on the screen. I can show the patient, this is what we found. This is a tear, whatever the case might be, okay? Wow. So that's um, one of those areas. The next one that is pretty commonly that we looked at is your supraspinatus, which is the most common torn and injured um, rotator cuff area. Partial. Yeah, it's pretty common with pictures, unfortunately. Okay, so you just rotate your arm like this, okay. and then you move it up, hold right there in your hip. Perfect. There we go. So, yeah, there's definitely signs of a an injury that you had. Huh. So this is the supraspinatus tendon as it uh, attaches on the ball right of the shoulder right there those little white specks are just calcification that you uh -huh. see right there that tends to happen when there is a chronic or a, a prior injury that your body already tried to heal it and so when it heals it unfortunately it doesn't heal it very well uh, because of the amount of inflammation that it produces gotcha. and so you start getting these areas of calcification along the tendon which obviously start irritating the movement and can produce uh, deficiencies in range of motion or issues like that. I'm gonna freeze this. <clears throat> um, this could also be a potential tear right here. So that black oh, okay. spot that you see right there, really the tendon should be a white, smooth, sort of linear structure that you see, right? So this is the bone. And here, as you can see that wedge shape that's your supraspinatus tendon. Gotcha. So uh -huh, this sort of area of black little dots on there could be a a potential tear that we're um, that it's present obviously right now. Obviously, we gotta correlate it with the patient, right? If he's having issues with raising the arm, anything mm -hmm. over the shoulder is causing him pain. That's obviously correlating with our findings here in ultrasound. Uh, it's not that we only based it on the imaging, but it really does help a lot. And the cool thing with this, as I mentioned, the functional aspect of the ultrasound is I can have him push against my arm here. Mm -hmm. Good. So you can see those muscles contract, right? I'll do it one more and time. Then re re yeah. so... And then push again. Huh. Okay, huh. relax. So if that was a tear, right? Let's say that we were suspecting maybe that to be a tear as he pushes out, good, relax. That line does get a little bit bigger, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Which is, again, pretty, um, it makes sense and it really confirms the diagnosis of a potential tear there. Right. Yeah, and as Dr. Gallego said, I mean, obviously I, I don't have much pain on my shoulder. I just wanted to do this, um, you know, for demonstration purposes because people do have injuries where they're not really sure what's going on. And as you can see, um, from the demonstration there, it's a very in-depth look of, of, of everything that's, that's going on in the problem area. Um, you know, you can do shoulders, uh, what's in other common ones, probably yeah, elbows, practically any joint, right? Yeah. So you can even do, um, cerebral or spine, um, evaluation. So people that have issues with like, uh, arthritis of the spine, facet mm. joint, uh, arthritis, uh, issues with ligament issues on the spine, uh, sacroiliac joints, we can also evaluate those, um, as well as any other soft tissue structure, obviously, within, you know, the spine. Yeah. So very robust uh, image that we can really get and a lot of really good uh, insight into the, the patient's care. So. And then this imaging just allows you to um, then, you know, diagnose and then um, create a treatment plan, correct? And exactly, then... yeah.
Perfect. Um, and then once again, guys, so that's uh, the third Thursday of every month. We have a free imaging session. Um, you do need to call and, and confirm your uh, appointment beforehand so that we have the machine here um, on site. Uh, but again, that's the third Thursday uh, of every month. And um, so if you'd like to get in and, and, and get some free imaging done and, and see what's going on, then uh, then come on in and give us a call.